thank you, Steve, and thanks to you all for coming today. So I'm a Salesforce trainer and a business analyst, so I have had to stay on top of all of the features of Lightning over all the Lightning releases going back to like 2015. And yeah, that means schlogging through all those release notes, 600 pages at a time. And I know you don't have time to do that, but that's okay because I'm doing it for you. So just in case you have not been able to keep up with the improvements and great features that are being added to Lightning with every release, I put together this list of the top five things that I think Lightning does better. We've got about 30 minutes to cover this whole list, so let's dive right in so that we have time at the end for your questions. My list is focused on end user features. There are so many benefits of Lightning for us admins, but at the end of the day, the features have to make sense for your business users in sales and marketing. You know, the people that should be using this system to hunt and close deals. So I'm focusing on them for today. So first, I wanna show you what I see on the homepage and how I think this new design is gonna really help keep us focused and organized all day long. Second, the record pages for accounts and leads and opportunities, you know, all the core CRM objects, those new layouts also gonna help keep us focused on getting stuff done. Third, there's a new feature called Path. Uh, you've also heard it called Sales Path. I think you're gonna love this as much as I do for the training savings that you might gain from it. And then fourth, Kanban views. Oh, there's so many benefits to the Kanban views. If you're not sure what that is, that's okay. I'm gonna show you that in just a sec. And then fifth, the tabs navigation just keeps getting better. The newest features in Spring 18 are so handy. So I'm gonna show you what just came out. All right, so let's dig into the homepage a little bit. If you think back to classic, the homepage just wasn't much of a thing, right? We logged in, we dropped right onto home, and we pretty much navigate away from it immediately to a lead record or an account record. But Lightning has turned this homepage into a feature. Let me show you some specifics of what I mean. So you as an admin, a lot of what you've been hearing about the homepage is that it's really easy to set up and really easy to customize. All of that is true. It's made up of components that can be moved around, added, removed, each one of these blocks is a component and you can determine where it should be on the page, whether or not it should even be there. And there's three components that I love on the homepage, specifically for salespeople, but some of these work for everyone. Three that I love, one that I don't, and I'm gonna come back to that later. So first, this quarterly performance snapshot, by default, it's right here at the center top. This is for sales users to have a snapshot of relevant opportunity data deals that are closed one, ops that have a 70% probability of closing, and they can set their own quarterly performance goal for themselves. <laughs> we didn't have an easy way to do this in Classic, and now we have this out of the box option right here on the Home tab. I would have been excited for just this functionality for sales, but there's more. The assistant component answers that scenario of what leads are assigned to me today? What opportunities do I need to be paying attention to? The kind of information and guidance that we used to have to create list views and reports and remember to go check those every day, we now have this assistant component right here at the top right on the home page to keep users on track. It'll show any new leads assigned today, overdue opportunities that have a closed date in the past, opportunity with no next step tasks assigned or no activity at all for 30 days. And notice that these buttons allow for different actions. They appear right here so you can create a new task, create a new meeting. It's so easy for sales users to stay right here on the home tab and plan out their day. Now you admins, you might need to do some setup on global actions to make sure that the right buttons appear right here, but that's pretty straightforward. The big news I want you to take away from this whole thing is the efficiency of users seeing leads assigned. They no longer have to get a task with an email alert. We want them to come here to the homepage, see information right on this list, act on it, and then update the record in Salesforce. We don't want them acting on email alerts that they receive and then forgetting to update the record in Salesforce. It should lead to fewer leads appearing as unread by owner, fewer stale opportunity records. Are you starting to see how you can make the case for lightning just from the home page alone? Yeah, and, and there's more. The other feature I really like is today's tasks. In Classic, we have this list, but this layout is so much more intuitive. It's really easy to check things off the list, really easy to jump to the full list of all of my tasks, and then from there, really easy to edit or mark things done. Again, the whole point is keeping me focused on what needs to get done. 
and then the benefit to us admins for all of this that I've been talking about, this information on tasks or leads, opportunities, all the data is being kept up to date, which should reduce the amount of stale data in the org. Now, the one feature I want you to look carefully at is this news carousel. It's in a really prominent spot and is potentially distracting, you know, compared to all these other components that are all about creating focus. So I've got a question mark about keeping this one component that is designed to pique my curiosity and possibly get me sidetracked. So for you, just consider getting input on a version of a homepage that has no news feed. The second thing that Salesforce Lightning does better is the layout of the record pages. Let's jump to a contact page. Now, I know that at first glance, this looks so different and it seems like we lost the simplicity of the classic layout. Like where did the customer data go? But what we gain is a focus on action and less focus on the data in the fields. In classic, the most prominent information on the page was the data in those fields, right? And we would have to scroll or click to see open opportunities, open tasks, upcoming meetings. But honestly, at first, I was not sure that this component layout approach and the tab structure that this worked. But now that I've been using it, I like it better. I like that the activity timeline is so prominent because that's the whole point. What do I do next to keep potential deals moving forward? What's already been done by me or others on the account team? But I also know that this layout, it could just be too much too much of a leap for your classic users. So let's jump into an account page so that I can show you a hybrid approach. So look at what I did here. I revised the default layout and I put the details tab to show first. By default, the related tab shows first that has the all the related records, but I revised it to show details first and then I added this related list quick links. This is a component that you can add to the page layout to basically mock up what was so familiar about the classic layout. Because I know my classic users, they were really used to finding related records by hovering and clicking on the related list link at the top of all those pages. So I kept that as part of the layout, hoping that it would make the transition less jarring. But notice it doesn't include the activity timeline. That is still in its own prominent location over here on the right. And it's really easy to see what are next steps and what is past activity that's already been done. Oh, and I see that there are a few questions coming in. That is great. I'll answer those in just a few minutes once I'm done with this list. On to the third thing that Lightning does better, the path feature. It used to be called Sales Path. This might be my favorite Lightning feature. I see it as a training solution, a dirty data solution. It should help reduce some confusion and help get new sales users up to speed quickly on your specific sales processes. And yes, I said that plural. You can configure path to support all the sales processes that you might have in play in your company. Let me show you how it works. I've got one set up here. I'm just gonna give you a super brief tour so you can see what it is and how it's meant to be used. I'll navigate to an opportunity record. Do you see this set of arrows along the top here? These are the opportunity stages. When you hover, you can see the stage names all in order. And at a glance, you can see the current stage. This one's in blue. It's at the negotiation stage. So just this graphic here clearly communicates that this deal is supposed to be moving along, moving forward along a set of stages. So keep it moving, right? But that's not the good part. If you have configured path from setup as an admin, then your users will get this down arrow drop down here to get more guidance and more information about what should be happening at each stage. What fields are key to populate as the deal develops and this guidance for success. This is where you're gonna sit down with your sales leaders and with the marketing smarties and you're going to put this together, the advice, documents, links to videos and example conversations. You're going to clearly communicate expectations. You're gonna plug all of that in stage by stage so that your sales professionals know exactly what could or should happen as this deal progresses. Whenever I'm working with the sales team, teaching them how to properly use opportunities or leads, yes, this same thing is available on leads. So we'll explain each stage and exactly what it means and exactly what the expectation is. And there's always this moment where I sense this relief that finally everyone's on the same page with the process. Everyone knows what each stage means. But I know that over time, it's inevitable that the process is going to degrade. 
And oh, if the process changes, that can really throw off their data. PATH was designed to keep everyone on the same page about expectations and process and exactly what is supposed to be happening at each stage on opportunities and leads. And you'll see that in Spring 18 release, this feature is now available on other standard CRM objects. Are you starting to see the possibilities? I can't help it. As a trainer, I love this feature. You know what else I'm loving? Kanban views. And just in case you're not sure what this is, Kanban is a system for managing work as it moves through a defined process or series of steps. It's a visual method where all your deliverables are displayed in one space, like a giant whiteboard, on individual cards. So we've stolen, stolen's not quite the right word, maybe adopted. Lightning has adopted the Kanban approach and created a way to represent records on cards. Most commonly, those are opportunity records or lead records, but it could be any object that has stages or steps in a field. And basically, Kanban views, it's an alternative to a list view. It's just another way of looking at records from a list view. If you're looking at my screen, you see that I'm on a list of my opportunity records that are closing this month, and I'm moving individual opportunities to a new stage. The stages are in these columns, and at the top of each column is the total amount for all the opportunities in that stage. And once I start to click and drag these cards around, I have the option to move it to a new stage, and that automatically recalculates the total amount for that column. Or if you notice in the top right, I have the opportunity to mark this one closed, either a close lost or close one. So it's just a visual approach for updating data on records. So this that I'm showing you is opportunities, but this is also available on leads. And like I said, um, other types of objects that use something that implies that there's a stage or series of steps. Here, let me quickly show you how you can see all leads that meet certain criteria in a list view. And the same thing, you can move them into a specific lead status just by clicking and dragging. So what is it exactly that I think is better about Kanban over the previous functionality that we've always had? You know, we could always update records, but it's not just that this looks cool, that I can drag things around. I'll tell you, in all the years that I've been supporting professionals using Salesforce, what I know for sure is that they feel bogged down with having to do the work to qualify leads or make a pitch to a potential customer and document it. The documentation, the word I've always heard them use is, it's administrivia. I have to do all this administrivia. They did the work, isn't that enough? But what you and I know is that it isn't enough. We need the data to produce pipeline reports, marketing effectiveness reports. We need them keeping lead and opportunity data in Salesforce and up to date. And this feature makes it really, really easy to ask them to do that. And number five, the fifth thing that I think Lightning does better is the functionality of tabs. Tabs in Lightning have several features to save time and keep data close. First, the impulse is to click on the tab, right? But I'm not gonna do that. I'm much more interested in this little arrow. From this arrow, I can create a new record, see any records that I have tagged as favorites, jump to a recent record, or jump to a list view. So handy, right? And watch this. I'm gonna navigate to my favorite customer, GenePoint. If I go back to this little arrow, see this option at the bottom, open in a new tab? When you select this, it opens this record in its own tab, and that tab will stay there until I close this browser window. So that's crazy handy. That also works on reports and other items, by the way, not just records. Here, I'm gonna navigate to a report quickly and show you how to do that on a report. And if this is a report or a dashboard or a record that I need to look at every day, I can create a permanent tab on my list of tabs that will be there every time I log in. Once that runs its course, I can click this pencil. This list pops up that has all of my tabs on it. I find it on the list and I click the X to remove it. Oh, this is also where your users can personalize their tabs. They can change the order, or whatever else they might wanna do for their own tabs. This is one of those really helpful features that the average user may not stumble across. So you might need to show them this one specifically. And you know, on that topic of showing your users these things, when you get ready to roll out Lightning, 
you're going to do a lot of work to get everything planned out, set up, optimized, and ready for their specific needs. I'm going to be your friend right now. Please, please don't do like a setup and launch and run. As admins, I feel like I see that a lot. Like Salesforce is up and Lightning's launched and here you go. This Lightning thing is enough of a change where you have to host training sessions or provide some way for them to learn how to do all the familiar Salesforce actions in Lightning. I am hearing from so many admins that they turned on Lightning and I had some people look at it, but I don't know, it kind of fell flat. I wouldn't really get any feedback and people don't seem that interested. Huh, as a trainer and a change management leader, I want to coach you that that is a risky approach and you run the risk of creating more confusion and ultimately more resistance to changing over to Lightning. But I'm not going to go too far down that rolling out Lightning and the training strategy behind it. That's another topic for another webinar. But we have a few minutes left, so let's look at some of these questions coming in.